What does the secret place mean to you? We're going to dive deep and discover the significance of the secret place. Perhaps you are already acquainted with this idea, sometimes known as a quiet time or personal communion with God. The secret place represents a sacred space where you can establish a profound connection with the divine. The secret place is a haven where you can freely open up to God, away from distractions and noise. It is during these moments that you will be able to prioritize spending quality time alone with Him. It is in this intimate setting that you can foster a deeper relationship with your Creator and experience His presence in a profound way. In this secluded realm, you can share your thoughts, hopes, dreams, and fears with God without hesitation. It is a place where you are able to be vulnerable, knowing that God sees and understands you completely. Here, you will find solace, peace, and a sense of belonging, knowing that you are in the presence of the one who knows and loves you unconditionally. Engaging in a secret place allows you to seek guidance, wisdom, and understanding from God. Through prayer, meditation, and reflection on His Word, you can discern His voice and receive the clarity you need for life's journey. It is a space where you can pour out your heart, seek His will, and align with His purposes. In the secret place, we are reminded of the importance of stillness and silence. In a world filled with constant noise and busyness, setting aside this dedicated time for communion with God is essential. It allows you to disconnect from the external distractions and tune into the gentle whispers of the Holy Spirit. It is in this quietude that you find renewal, inspiration, and strength to navigate life's challenges. Be sure to discover your own secret place, a personal sanctuary where you can connect with God intimately. It may be a physical location, a specific time of day, or a cherished routine that helps you enter into that sacred space. Embrace the beauty of this solitude, for it is in these moments that you can experience profound encounters with the divine. May we all find solace and revelation in our secret place, and may it become a wellspring of spiritual nourishment, guidance, and communion with our loving Creator. In Matthew 6 verse 6, there is a mention of the secret place, and God has been impressing upon me the significance of utilizing this space. Many people are facing challenges and struggles because they neglect the secret place. Once you start to prioritize your secret place, you'll soon see that trials no longer hold the same power as before. This intimate time with God will ignite something within your heart and help you truly understand who God is. The secret place is not just a physical location or a temporary retreat. It is a state of being where we continually carry the presence of God within us. As we walk out of that secret place, people will notice a difference in us. The glory of God will radiate from us, and others will be drawn to it. Just like Moses, who spent time with God on the mountain and came down with God's glory shining on his face, we now carry a glory that does not fade away. In the secret place, we experience the unique and ongoing connection with God. It is not a one-time encounter or a momentary experience. We have the privilege of living in God's glory as we abide in that secret place. 
people will witness the transformative power of God in our lives, and they will be drawn to it. This constant presence of God in our lives becomes a testimony of His goodness, and others will be curious about what sets us apart. When Peter's shadow healed people in the book of Acts, it wasn't a shadow but rather the shadow of God overshadowing him. Psalm 91 speaks of dwelling in the secret place of the Almighty, abiding under his shadow. As we abide in that secret place, the very presence of God covers us and saturates us. Our prayers in the secret place have the potential to create spiritual fire and produce genuine worship in spirit and truth. However, it is crucial to approach the secret place with sincerity and a broken and contrite heart. We should not seek emotional experiences or judge our connection with God solely based on feelings. It is not about seeking constant spiritual highs, but about genuine intimacy and communion with God. We should not be seeking temporary touches from God, but rather to live in His presence continually. As we enter the secret place, we should be nourishing ourselves with God's Word. It is vital to open our mouths wide and let God fill them with His faithfulness. Feeding on His Word and dwelling on His faithfulness allows us to grow and find satisfaction in Him alone. We must not rely on external sources or the opinions of others to define our identity. Our identity should be rooted in God's Word, for that is the only source that can truly fill us. David, like many others, understood the importance of the secret place. He had different sides to his character. As a king and warrior, he was fierce and courageous, fighting battles for the kingdom. But when he entered the secret place, he allowed himself to be vulnerable and emotionally open before God. In this intimate space, he revealed every aspect of himself because hiding parts of oneself from God is being dishonest. God, who formed and knows us intimately, deserves to see our true selves. The secret place is a personal and sacred space where you can have deep communion with God. It is not just a physical location, but a state of being where you can be alone with Him, worship Him, and experience intimacy. In the secret place, you can discover your true identity. It is where you must feed on God's Word and rely on His faithfulness. You shouldn't seek validation or define yourself through external sources like media, peers, or social media. Your identity should solely come from the Word of God, as it is the only thing that can truly satisfy and guide you. Finding your identity in the secret place is crucial because if you don't understand who you are, others will define you. Eve, for example, lacked understanding of her identity, and that led her to seek validation from Adam. Consequently, this lack of self-awareness resulted in the fall from grace. It is vital to know who you are by seeking God's guidance in the secret place. In the secret place, you will also find satisfaction and fulfillment. The Word of God tells us that the righteous lack nothing because God satisfies their every need. Seeking affection or satisfaction from other people or worldly things reveals a lack of reliance on the secret place. Carrying the secret place with you means carrying the fruit of the Spirit wherever you go. It allows you to manifest God's presence through acts of love and compassion. 
True prayer is not just about speaking in tongues or praying continuously, but also living a life of love and compassion that stems from the secret place. Compassion should be the starting point for every action. Jesus exemplified this, as he was moved with compassion when he saw the crowds and healed them. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus asked his disciples to pray while he went to pray alone. Gethsemane means oil press, symbolizing the anointing and breakthrough that come from the secret place. Entering the secret place brings rest and makes things easier for you. It allows you to live out the organic fruits of the Spirit effortlessly. You won't need to ask God for patience, self-control, or love because you will naturally embody these qualities. Living in the secret place is like entering a promised land, a place of paradise and rest. By living in that place, you will bear the authentic fruits of the Spirit, and others will recognize and be impacted by the love, care, and generosity you demonstrate.